So I literally keep ending up in situations like this where I have no place else to put my projects while they're drying. I guess it's time to build a drying rack. That's coming up. Hello builders, I'm Brad and welcome to Micro Simple Builds. In today's build, I'm working on a drying rack to help organize the shop while I have multiple projects going on at the same time. Right now, I'm trying to crank out a bunch of different signs, coasters, flags, whatever I can make to get ready for a craft fair. The issue is I don't have any room to let the parts dry or to store finished products. As always, this is a simple build and it only took a few resources to make it happen. I used one sheet of three quarter inch plywood and one sheet of a quarter inch plywood. In addition, I cut up two one by fours to make the side rails. I really need to find a better way to cut down these full sheets. This is hard on the knees. Well, I guess that's what happens when you try to build and film at the same time. Somehow I lost at least 30 minutes of video. So follow this hand as I demonstrate how this was made. I cut the 3 quarter inch plywood down to 24 inch panels. Using 1x4s, I cut a bunch of 1 inch rails and, trim and trimmed them down to 20 inches. I centered those onto the plywood panels parallel to each other to create shelves. I cut one of the panels in half to make a top shelf and a middle shelf. I wanted to make this drying rack as minimal as possible so that it would fit against the wall. I also wanted to be able to roll it around when necessary. So I added locking casters to the bottom. I did use some scrap wood for the bottom to hold the casters and to create supports that would help stabilize the box. Since I wanted to have access from both sides, I needed to make sure that it had good torsion strength. I had considered buying an actual baker's drying rack, but what fun would have that been? Besides, at the time, I didn't know that plywood would be worth as much as an antique car. While this guy puts together the cart, I want to tell you about my simple builds. I started this channel as a way to show others that you don't have to be a master craftsman to build common projects. I follow the motto that learning is doing, and I share my successes and mistakes in hopes that you learn something by watching. Most of what I build is for personal use around the garage, but if you follow the channel, you'll see everything from home decor, projects to Halloween decorations, and more. So please subscribe to the channel and tap the bell to be notified every time I make a new video. You never know what you might learn. Now back to the project. Still, that's not bad. So here it is. I know it doesn't look pretty, but considering it's going to get paint and stain all over it, I think it meets the requirements. I even added somewhere to store my clamps for easy access. Thanks for sticking around till the very end. If you've enjoyed this project, give it a thumbs up. And here are some other projects that I think you might like. Remember that learning is doing. I'm Brad, and this has been My Simple Build.